plane that just took off. What's the radio wavelength of that plane? 1575 megacycles. Thanks. <laughs> Calling Gail Richards. Calling Gail Richards. Come in, Gail. This is Gail. Go ahead. There's a time bomb in your plane. Bail out. Bail out. Okay, Grant. Scarab must have feared the blowgun would lead directly to him, or he wouldn't have gone to such extremes to destroy it. He certainly did a thorough job. There wasn't even a fragment of it left in the wreckage. I don't think those two prisoners will help us much. They're just two small-time thugs hired by Matson for that particular job. I wonder if the Scarab ever heard that the police make plaster of Paris copies of all important pieces of evidence. Well, we didn't have time to make a replica of that bow gun. I know that. But the Scarab doesn't. We could let the news leak out through the underworld that we have an exact duplicate from which Grayson can identify the owner of the original. And I'm willing to bet it won't be long before the Scarab hears about it. Go ahead, Mike. Number 31 reports the DA has a plaster model of the blowgun. He's wired Grayson to come here to identify the owner. That's all. A model? Why did they make a model of it? Routine procedure, I suppose. This calls for action. We have no time to lose. We must find out where Grayson will go when he arrives. Put every available man on the job. Check reservations on every train, bus, and plane coming into the city. Find out about all reservations in all the hotels. Get started immediately. This is a good reproduction, Walt. It should serve our purpose. But I'd like to see somebody translate those fake Mayan hieroglyphics I painted on it. District Attorney's office. Yes, Commissioner. He's right here. Yes. They fell for it, Grant. A man just asked about Grayson at the Hotel Metropole. And they told him that he reserved room 504 for this afternoon. Fine. That's just what I hope to hear. Have you got a man at the Metropole? Yes. Donovan is taking the doorman's place. All right. Leave him there. 
but don't have anyone else around. I want them to be able to get away with the blow gun so we can follow them to the scarab. We better give them a little time to get organized. Then we'll deliver this right into their hands. causing the tube to drop and break. The gas spreads rapidly and will knock out anyone in the room in a few seconds. Anything new, gentlemen? Yes. Matson and two others went in a few minutes ago. One of them stayed in the lobby, a lookout, I guess, and the others went up to the room. What about their car? Parked around the corner. Drive around and watch their car. If they should leave before I can get back, trail them. drove out of the alley and Miss Richard's after I'm here. Take my car. Thanks. Calling Gail Richards. Calling Gail Richards. Come in, Grant. Where are you? Going out Jefferson Road. Matson's about a quarter of a mile ahead of me. Don't get too close. I'm following you in Gunnivan's car. Keep me posted. Right. Gardner. Oh, in fact, 
partner. Come in, Gail. We just turned off toward that old barn east of the river. I know the place. Drive past it, then double back and keep an eye on it. I understand. Don't start anything unless you absolutely have to. I'll have this fixed in a minute. I'll hurry it up. Calling H1. Calling H1. Come in, M3. Did you get the blowgun? Yes, everything's okay. I'm not so sure. Norton hasn't reported in yet. He hasn't. I'd better go back to the hotel and find out what happened. Norton must have gotten in trouble. I'm going back to look for him. You're staying right here, Matt. Back up. You too. Tie him up. That was quick and easy. As far as she's concerned, yes. But she worked with Captain America, and he's probably on his way here now. We have too much stuff belonging to the museum stored here. And we can't take a chance of letting anyone find it. Spread a powder thing. We'll blow up the whole works and the girl with it.
construction of the barn spoiled all chances of tracing Scarab's men. Oh, Gail? Have you gentlemen seen this? Dr. Clinton Lyman, brother of the late Professor Lyman, who was a victim of the Purple Death, will demonstrate his latest invention at his home tonight. It is said that this device will restore life to plants and animals within certain limits of time. Witnessing the demonstration will be Lyman's fellow members of the Mayan Explorers Club. Why, that's dynamite. Scarab's attacks have been made only on members of that club, and now they're publicizing a meeting like that. Looks like they're asking the Scarab to wipe them out. Get me Dr. Clinton Lyman's home, please. Uh, hello? Oh, I never intended that to get into the papers. I simply mentioned it at a private luncheon at my club. I advise you to cancel tonight's demonstration. Oh, no, no, that's impossible. And you're only inviting disaster for yourself and your associates. No, I don't really think so. If it would relieve your mind, why not attend my demonstration? Thanks, I will. I'll be there with my assistant, Miss Richards. These scientists don't seem to realize their danger from this character. Have you seen this? Yes, I know all about it. I had lunch at the Mayan Explorers Club. And I'm among those invited to Lyman's house. Is there anything to this perpetual life machine? We will find out tonight. Lyman will try and bring a dog back to life. And the Humane Society is cooperating in the experiment. If his device works, I must have it. I've always dreamed of an elixir that will give me power over death itself. You'll be there yourself. How can you possibly? Oh, it's relatively simple. Dinner shall be over at 8.45. About that time, the truck from the Humane Society should arrive at Lyman's residence. until you're sure the demonstration's a success. Right. Jerk is waiting in his car outside. He'll cover us in case we're trailed. What beautiful roses. This morning, they were withered and dead. And my machine restored them to life. Ma! Can the machine be used to restore human life? I've never tried it. But I'm convinced it will. That must be the men from the Humane Society. Excuse me. Put it here, please. Now, if you'll wait in the ante room. Speaking broadly, gentlemen, the principle of my machine is based on the diathermic method of inducing fever by high temperature. This results in the electronic resuscitation of the circulatory system. It works in conjunction with this serum, which I inject into the vital organs. subject has been dead too long, I cannot expect success.
Gentlemen, I believe the experiment is a success. Wonderful, a miracle. Congratulations, Doctor, on your great contribution to science. Thank you. Here, here, doggy. I'll get him. Hold it, everybody. Oh, what, 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 what is this? Get away from that table. Keep him covered till I get back to help you with Lyman. Get over against that wall. Something's gone wrong. Get away from here. I'll pick up Dirk and we'll take care of Lyman. sure that no one leaves this house. Right. What is the meaning of all this? Right. I don't lose them. I don't know. Oh, can't be. broke in, tied us up, and took Dr. Lyman away. Dr. Melder was hurt trying to resist them. Tore the mask off one man. It was Matson. I didn't see the other man's face, but if I ever see him again, I'll know him. He'll be all right. Phone the commissioner to send out some detectives from the identification bureau. They might be able to identify that man I shot and give us a clue to the scarab. Lyman's at a research laboratory, and Hunt got through with the machine safely. We really outfoxed the DA this time. Not entirely. He found a watchman's key on Rick's body, and it won't take him long to trace it. Where did Rick work? He was a night watchman at the Collins gravel pits. We've been using the office there as a meeting place at night. Well, go there immediately and destroy any evidence that might point to me before the district attorney gets there. Or oh, wait. I have a better plan. One that will remove the evidence and also the district attorney if he goes there. Take the plunger off about 200 yards and be sure you keep the wire out of sight. And pick a spot where we can see the shack clearly. We want to see who goes into it before we blow it up. Jump off about 100 yards from the entrance. Keep going, you know what to do. I heard a car pull up outside. It's all right, we're ready.
Yeah. She's the one who works with Captain America. Shall I blow it? No, wait a minute. Captain America might show up, too. He'd never let her come out here alone. You're right. Get your hands up. show up, too. He'd never let her come out here alone. You're right. Get your hands up.
hurt but still alive. We'll have to get him to a doctor right away if we want to save him and find the scarab. Bart Matson, who was captured last night by Captain America after a desperate fight, has been positively identified as the criminal who abducted Dr. Lyman and stole his world-famous life-restoring machine. Fatally injured in the battle, Matson is now in the home sanitarium on the verge of death. Attending physicians hope that he may revive sufficiently to speak. If he does, the district attorney is anxious to question him about that master criminal, the Scarlet. Matson won't talk even if he is dying. I know that, but he's our most valuable man. If he dies, we'll have to change all our plans. No, we won't. As a matter of fact, I plan to get his body before it reaches the morgue. But Maxon's dead body can be of no use to us. No. But restore to life it can. I'll make arrangements to recover the body. And when we do, I'll force Dr. Lyman to perform an experiment that will amaze even the district attorney. What's the latest on Maxon? It's getting worse. The doctors have lost all hope of saving his life. Oh, yes, Commissioner. Dr. Black just phoned me from the sanitarium. Matson is dead. I've ordered the guards removed, and the county morgue will pick up the body. Well, that's unfortunate. Matson's death robs us of the best lead we ever had to the scar. But the search must go on for Dr. Lyman. Put every available man on the job. Okay, Grant. We'd better go down to the sanitarium and talk to Dr. Black. It's just possible that Matson made some delirious remark, which may help us locate Dr. Lyman. Cut it off. As soon as my men recover Matson's body, it will be brought here. You will resurrect him with your life-restoring machine. But I didn't construct this machine to bring a murderer back to life. And besides, it would take a million volts of electrical energy before this machine would be effective on a man. Well, fortunately, I read your comments on the operation of your machine. And I've been able to supply everything you may require. Come. I'll show you. Open up the panel. This apparatus, Dr. Lyman, is capable of generating all the electricity you can possibly need. Set the control for one million volts. Throw the generator switch. If you refuse to revive, Matson, your last moments will be spent in there, Doctor. Yes? Oh, yes, Gruber. Very well, we'll be ready. You won't have long to wait, Doctor. My men report that the morgue truck has just arrived at the home sanitarium. may try to claim the body. If they do, I'll have them trail. We'll go to the morgue and make the necessary arrangements. All right, you two. Start walking and don't look back.
before he died. I'll have Davis check on that. GG calling WD. GG calling WD. Come in, GG. The morgue wagon was hijacked. An automobile with the license number 1B7744 may be involved. Have the commissioner send out a general alarm to locate the car, but make no arrest. I'll handle this case myself. I'm on my way back to the office now. Okay, Chief. I just want to verify this number. 1B7744. Get the machine ready. Experiment. Turn the generator on to full capacity. That car belongs to the Electronic Researchers Limited. It's located in front of the terminal building where that company has its office and shop. Fine. That's all I want to know. for the serum now. I'm a Captain America, but I've captured both of you. His eyelids are fluttering.
the window, Max. I'll cover you till you get down. Wait in my car in the alley. Pick up the machine and follow him. 